Hello, Namaskar, and welcome to Bank Exams today. So today's topic is boats and streams. So this is a kind of subtopic of speed, time, and distance topic only. This is a kind of subtopic. So we'll see some questions here. We'll see how uh, what kinds of questions you can see from this topic and how to uh, set an approach to solve these kinds of questions. Right. Before starting the session, let me just uh, tell you about a course that we have launched for SPI SO marketing. So our team at Bank Exams today, we are offering a full fledged and a comprehensive course for this exam. And this course will contain video classes for all the sections with complete study material in PDF format. Right. And test series will also be provided with 10 full length tests and chapter wise tests will also be there. And also a systematic study plan will be provided to assist revise and interview preparation guidance will be provided to those students who will clear the written exams. And you can use this coupon code LK10 to avail 10% discount on the course fees. So hurry up and avail the offer. Now let's just start with the session. The very first question that you can see on the screen is the question says the ratio of the speed of a boat in still water to the speed of stream is 5 ratio 2. Now Amman goes six, uh, 56 kilometers in uh, downstream that also in two hours. It covers 56 kilometers in two hours. Now, how much time will he take to go 84 kilometers downstream and come back some same distance upstream? So that's a simple question. Let's just say that speed of boat in still water. So I'll take a standard format like speed of the boat in still water. I'll take it, take it as X kilometers per hour. Speed of boat in still water, I'll take it as X kilometers per hour and speed of stream, I'll assume it as Y kilometers per hour. So according to question, speed of boat in still water, that is X to the ratio of, uh, is in the ratio of 5 ratio 2 with, uh, with respect to speed of stream. So X ratio Y is equals to 5 ratio 2, right? So I can simply say, that uh, I can assume x is equals to 5k uh, where k is a constant and y is equals to 2k here again k is a constant. And also further he says Amun goes 56 kilometers downstream in 2 hours. So speed of downstream I denote it by st. It is equal to 56 kilometers covered in 2 hours. So that, that is equal to 28 kilometers per hour. Now we all know that SD is always equal to X plus Y divided by 2. Right? Sorry. Uh, sorry, it was uh, SD plus SU divided by 2 is equals to X. Right? But uh, that we cannot use uh, use it here. Now, you know, that is not, uh, of, not much use here. But as SD is given, speed of downstream is given as 28 kilometers per hour. We can see here above, we have the values of X and Y. So according to it, the speed in downstream should be equal to 5K plus 2K, that is 7K. And the numerical value is given as 28 kilometers per hour. So here I can say that the value of K is equal to 28 divided by 7, that is 4 kilometers per hour. Right. So now we have the value of K. So I can uh, I can easily find out what is the value of X. So X will be equal to 20 and Y will be equal to 8. Right. Hence SU the speed of upstream will be equal to X minus Y. So that is 20 minus 8, 12 kilometers, 12 kilometers per hour. Now he says how much time will he take? to go 84 kilometers downstream and come back same distance upstream. So total time will be equal to time taken in downstream. So that will be equal to the distance covered that is 84 kilometer divided by speed in downstream that is 28 plus time taken in upstream. So that distance here again is 84 kilometers and the speed is 12 kilometers per hour. Right. So 28 into 3 is 84. 12 into 7 is 84. So 3 plus 7, 10 hours. So this is our answer, 10 hours. Clear? So I hope you have understood this question. 
let's move forward to the next question. Question says, Jignesh rows a boat 160 kilometers upstream and rows the same distance downstream in a total of 27 hours without any break. So total time taken in the upstream will be equal to distance covered by the speed in upstream. Let's say it is SU. This is the time taken in upstream. Plus time taken in downstream. Down In downstream also the distance covered is 168 kilometers and the speed is let's just say it is SD. So total time taken in both the cases will be equal to 27 hours. This is the uh, statement. Now speed in downstream is 40% more than that of speed of boat in still water. So speed in downstream is 40% more than the speed of boat in still water. So let's just say that speed of boat in still water is x. Let's just assume it is x. So SD over x will be equal to 7 ratio 5. Right? Because 40% uh, more means increasing 2 over 5 units. Right? So it, it says that if x was 5, then 40% of 5 will be equal to 2 units. And hence SD will be 7 units in accordance with the statement. Clear? Now, the speed in upstream, speed in upstream, that is SU, is 28.57%. So it is round about 28.56%. Right? 1 upon 7 is 14.28%. So 2 upon 7 will be equal to 28.56%. Right? So 28.57% means simply in fraction 2 upon 7. So 2 upon... 2 more than 7, so that is equal to, oh sorry, not more than, it is exactly 28.57%, so 2 by 7. So I can say SU over ST, it is equal to 2 over 7, right? This is this is what the statement says. Speed and upstream is 28.57% of the downstream, right? So now what is the speed of boat in still water that you need to find the value of X in? Clear? So now, let's just say that x is equal to, let's just suppose that x is equal to 10k. k is a constant here, right? 10k. So now, according to that, sd will be equal to 14k, right? And similarly, similarly, I can say that su will be equal to 4k, right? Now, if we put the values of x, sd and su, only sd and su, if we would put the values of sd and su in this equation, so I can write that, write this, 168 divided by su, that is 4k, plus 168 divided by sd, sd, that is 14k, is equal to 27. So 4 into 4, 16, 4 into 2, 8. 14 was a 14, and 2 remainder, 14 to the 28. So 12k, so 42 over k plus 12 over k is equal to 27. In short, 54, 2 into 4, 405. 54 over k is equal to 27. And hence, the value of k will be equal to 2. So we got the value of constant k is equal to 2. Hence, x will be equal to 10 into 2, that is 20. So value of x is 20 kilometers per hour. Clear? I hope you have understood the question here. Let's move forward with the next question. The ratio of speed of x and z in still water is 5 ratio 3. So, if, uh, if I uh, just give the annotation uh, to the speed of boat in still water as x, so I can say x of this x is equal to 5k, where k is a constant, and x of this boat z is equal to 3k, where k is a constant, right? Now, x and z start from the same point in the river. Let's just say they start from the, this point, and x goes upstream, x goes upstream, let's just say this direction is upstream, x goes this way, 
and z goes downstream so if this is the upstream so opposite side will be downstream z will go into this direction right this is the first case and after 4 hours the stream stops flowing so after 4 hours stream stops flowing right so in these 4 hours the distance covered by both of them will be equal to the distance between these two x and z will be equal to them now speed uh, now x is covering the distance in x is covering the distance in upstream right so speed of boat x in upstream will be equal to 5k plus speed of stream now the it is not mentioned about anything so the it is obvious that speed of stream will be constant for both the boats right so let's just say the speed of stream is y kilometers per hour so speed of boat x in upstream will be equal to 5k minus y and since z is moving in downstream z boat is moving in downstream so speed of downstream in for z will be equal to 3k plus 5 clear now in the first case x is moving with its up uh, its uh, you know upstream speed and z is moving with its downstream speed so the distance covered by them in 4 hours will be equal to 4 multiplied by 5k minus y speed into time is distance plus 4 multiplied by 3k plus y so that is equal to 20k minus 4y plus 12k plus 4y so 4y 4y will be strike down and 20 plus 32 that is 32k so now when after 4 hours they stop after 4 hours the moment they stop the total distance between them will be equal to let's just say x is here and z is here the total distance will be equal to 32k at that moment right now z is z has uh, you know kept it uh, kept its um, movement towards you know the the side it was previously moving towards it is moving down and downstream z is z has not stopped z is moving downstream with the same speed but after 4 hours stream stops flowing so y is equals to 0 now right and x starts rowing in the opposite direction to meet z now x has also started moving towards z only the distance between them is 32 32 k right now since stream has stopped flowing so there will be no concept of upstream or downstream now in the second case when stream has stopped flowing there will be no case of upstream or downstream the velocities of or the speed of boats will be equal to their speeds in still water right but since they now speed of stream has no role to play both of them are moving in the same direction and both are moving objects so there will be a concept of relative speed here and that will be equal to since they are moving in similar direction so that will be equal to 5k minus 3k why 5k and 3k only because now they are moving with their speeds in still water only right by the respective speeds in still water only speed of stream has no role to play now okay since they are moving in similar direction so their speeds will be subtracted from each other and the relative speed will be equal to 2k now the time taken will be equal to distance covered by speed so 32k divided by 2k will be equal to 16 hours so this is your answer clear so i hope you have got your answer you have understood the question now let's move forward to the next question the question says time taken by a boatman to travel z plus 30 kilometers downstream and z minus 30 kilometers upstream is 26 hours so if one covers z plus 30 kilometers up downstream so let's just say the speed of downstream is st plus 
This is the time taken in downstream. Now the time taken in upstream will be equal to Z minus 30 kilometers covered in upstream divided by speed in upstream. Let's just say it is SU. Total time taken is 26 hours. Right? Total time taken here is 26 hours. Now this, again the statement says the downstream speed is 67, 66.67%. So 66.66% is 2 over 3. Right? So 66.66% more means 2 more than 3. So I can say that downstream speed over upstream speed, the ratio will be equal to 3 and 5. 5 ratio 3. Clear? 5 ratio 3. Now, if the boatman can travel Z plus 30 kilometers in 15 hours. So the ratio is given. So I can let's just say that SD is equal to 5K here. K is constant and SU is equal to 3K. Here again, K is a constant. Right. So accordingly, X will be equal to SD plus SU divided by 2. So it is equal to 8K over 2 that is 4K. Right. And also the statement says both men can travel downstream. Sorry. Uh, boat can travel Z plus 30 kilometers in 15 hours. So Z plus 30 kilometers distance over time is equal to speed. So this is the speed of uh, speed of boat in still water. Then it should be equal to 4K. Right. Hence the value will be equal to. Hence the value of uh, K will be equal to Z plus 30 divide by 60. So now easily we can find out the value of SD. So SD will be equal to 5 multiplied by Z plus 30 over 60. So it is equal to Z plus 30 divided by 12. 12 into 5 60 right. And SU will be equal to 3 into Z plus 30 divide by 60. So that is equal to Z plus 30 divided by 20. So this is the S value of SD and SU we got. Now we can find uh, easily uh, find out the values of uh, value of Z here ju by just putting the values of SD and SU in the above equation. So uh, putting the value of SD, I will get Z plus 30 divided by Z plus 30 and then multiplied by 12 plus Z minus 30 divided by Z plus 30 and then multiplied by 20 is equal to 26. Now this Z plus 30 will be struck down. This 12 will go to the other side and will get subtracted from 26, right? And hence we get Z minus 30 multiplied by 20 divided by Z plus 30 is equal to 20, uh, no, 14. Now we can easily say this is 10 and this is 7, right? So 10Z minus 300 will be equal to 7Z plus 210. So 10 minus 7, 3z should be equal to, 300 will go to the other side, equal to 510. So z is equal to 510 divided by 3. So that is equal to 170. So value of z is 170 kilometers per hour. Clear? So a little bit, uh, little bit calculation was there. Uh, you just need to stay focused on the basic concepts. I hope you have understood the question here. Clear? So let's just move to the next question. A boat goes downstream and reaches a fixed point in a river in 50 minutes and turns back. Now again sails upstream to reach the starting point. So he says that uh, let's just say that boat started from this starts from this point and reaches this point right and then and then it starts moving from this point towards the initial one again right so it covers the downstream first it goes downstream and covers the distance in 50 minutes right let's just say the distance is d kilometers Right now, speed of stream is constant all the time. Okay, so let's just say that speed of stream is y kilometers per hour. 
speed of stream is y kilometers per hour clear so now it is equal to 20% of the speed of the boat in still water and it is not written speed of the boat so we'll just assume speed of boat in still water. right so it is equal to uh, y is equals to uh, 1 by 5 of x so i can say y over x is 1 over 5 so in this way i can say y is equals to 1k and x is equals to 5k right here k k is a constant by what person now the speed of the boat should be increased in upstream so that it takes the same time to reach the starting point as it took in downstream so now he says that a boat should take the same time while covering the same distance so now the distance is same time is same so obviously speed should be same in both the cases that is speed should be equal to speed of upstream should be equal to speed of downstream and in both speed of uh, in both uh, downstream speed and upstream speed the value of y is constant because speed stream is constant altogether only thing that needs to be changed is uh, the speed uh, the that the speed of boat in still water right so if just uh, now question uh, question is asking that the speed of stream should be increased why uh, sorry speed of boat in still water should be increased while moving upstream by how much percent it should be increased so let's just say that let's assume that speed of boat in still water while moving upstream moving upstream is increased by z percent is increased by z percent so now while moving upstream the speed will be equal to speed of speed of boat in still water so that will be z percent increased by uh, by the uh, z percent increase from the initial value that is 5k initially the value was 5k now increasing it by z percent will be equal to 5k 5k multiplied by 1 plus z over 100 right minus so this is the speed of boat in still water now while moving upstream minus speed of stream that is y and y value of y is k so this is the upstream speed right and downstream speed will be equal to 5k plus k is equals to 6k now as i said in both the condition the time taken is same the distance covered is same so speed should also be equal to each other 6k should be equal to 5k multiplied by 1 plus z over 100 minus k so 7k is equals to 5k 1 plus z over 100 k will be stripped down struck down and 7 over 5 is equal to 1 plus z over 100 or i should say 7 over 5 minus 1 is equal to z over 100 so z over 100 is equals to uh, 5 7 minus 5 2 over 5 so z is equals to 40 percent This is our answer. The speed of boat in still water should be increased by 40% while moving upstream so that it takes the same time while covering the same distance as that of downstream. Clear? So this is your answer. I hope you have understood the question and uh, these, are the question, these are the questions that I wanted to show you here for this topic. Okay, so I hope you have understood all these questions. If you have any doubts, you can raise that doubt.
okay send and for more content for more uh, elaborate elaborated topics like this for more on comprehensive understanding you can subscribe to our batch right and also we have run uh, batches like this in previous sessions also like for ipps rrb scale 2 gbo and for so as well and for scale 3 as well and also uh, in 2019 also one of our students did the uh, school uh, secured the first rank in ipps rrb right and Bank of India Credit Officer uh, 2020 exams also we conducted, and these are the faces uh, who uh, you know who conquered the examination. Right, your face could be the next in the upcoming examination. So what are you waiting for? For more uh, deep and comprehensive understanding of these topics uh, of such topics, you can subscribe to our batch. Okay, so I'm keeping the session to this point only. See you in the next session. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Keep studying.